Channel 3 Early Warning Weather. All right, today's certainly feeling more like winter, late winter across Connecticut. And we're heading back to spring very quickly as a warm front approaches tomorrow. We'll see increasing cloud cover and temperatures that trend a bit milder. Right now, though, uh, temperatures are dropping from the 30s into the 20s inland. And uh, we're still hanging at 41 right now in New Haven, but that won't last much longer. We've got the clear sky and a wind that has gone calm. That's the case. Merritt and Chester, Willimantic and Groton. The wind will continue to diminish, but elsewhere just up out of the west northwest around three to eight miles an hour. We've got a clear sky, 33 looking live from the uh, brass city of Waterbury and as well from New London. Of course, we are dry border to border uh, here across Connecticut. And across the northeast, you can see specifically in New England, we've got 20s and 30s, but milder air not too far from us. And we're going to tap into that as soon as our wind becomes more southwesterly. That happens tomorrow as high pressure moves offshore. The next storm system that we're tracking right now, a warm front that's cutting through the Great Lakes, heads in our direction tomorrow. That will bring the increase in cloud cover and then this area of low pressure that's moving uh, into the northern plains heads into the Great Lakes and that's going to uh, eventually bring uh, some wet weather into Saturday strengthening the southwesterly flow and then eventually even some thunderstorms as that cold front moves through later Saturday evening. So here's a check of future cast as we head from the evening into the overnight hours or through the overnight hours I should say toward daybreak tomorrow. Uh, some filtered sun as we wake up. That's going to be it for sun tomorrow. Otherwise overcast for our Friday with an increasing chance for scattered showers. Nothing too terribly heavy for the evening commute. Highs tomorrow late in the day upper 40s and lower 50s. Uh, so for the final day of March we will not be adding to our 60 degree tally. So for March of 2023, we'll stand at four days, certainly paling in comparison to the past couple of years. Uh, so as we head into tomorrow evening, again, we've got this warm front that will initially bring us some showers. That southwesterly flow really gets cranking on Saturday. Gusts could go up to if not over 30 miles an hour. And then we've got this cold front that moves through in the evening. Behind this, we trend cooler for the second half of the weekend. So looking specifically uh, for Saturday, we should point out here wind gusts up to if not over 30 miles an hour. Uh, future cast for Saturday morning, a little bit closer look here, breaking down the storm system for us here in Connecticut. Plan for wet conditions. You'll want to maybe have indoor activities or plans, maybe do a little housework on Saturday morning. Rain steady, perhaps moderate to heavy at times. And then that wraps up around lunchtime. We've been forecasting a lull, and now as well we could see clearing. And the sun that we see on Saturday afternoon could help lose temperatures 70 or higher. That will also lead to some instability as that cold front approaches from the west. That's why we'll run that risk at least for some late day thunderstorms as we head toward around sunset on Saturday. Then behind that front, clearing gets underway as soon as we get into early Sunday morning. As the sun rises, we'll see plenty of it through the duration of the weekend. So rain gear for Saturday uh, and then the sunglasses for sure for Sunday. So on an early morning seven day forecast uh, looking for temperatures again Saturday will be sun dependent. If we have enough clearing temperatures go 70 or higher especially inland. Sunday breezy cooler nearly 20 degrees colder behind that front highs in the low 50s. The breeze will be diminishing as the day progresses but while it's up especially in the shade it's going to make it feel chilly. Monday we're back in the low 60s mid 60s Tuesday and then we've got potentially even more 70 degree warmth as we head toward Wednesday of next week with another chance for rain late Wednesday into early Thursday. Okay, Mark.